Okay, with these questions, you're always going to have to find one and then another. Um, the first one we need to find to work out BH, we need to work out what the length of FH is. And then when we've got that one, then we can uh, find out the length BH. So I'm going to call the length FHX, I'm going to call the length BHY. And I'm just going to uh, draw out the two uh, right angle triangles that we need for this question. So I'm going to start off drawing out FE. F E H I mean. Okay. And this is X, this is two centimeters. Uh, that's obviously F E H. And this is going to be three centimeters because it could be the same as on the other side. So that one is the same as this one. So that's also three centimeters there. Okay, next triangle I'm going to draw out is uh, the other one that we need. B at the top there, isn't it? Yeah. So B, F, H. And we called this one Y. This one is X. And the next one is the height there, which is 4 centimeters. So that's also going to be 4 centimeters there. So that's 4 centimeters. Okay. Um, now, to work out what X is, we use Pythagoras' theorem. Loads of stuff on the site to help you with that if you don't know. So we'll end up with this uh, 3 squared. Uh, is 9 plus 4, this could be 13, so this could be root 13. So we know this one now here is root 13. And so to work out what y is, we also use Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, so it's going to be 4 squared plus root 13 squared. Uh, 4 squared is 16 plus root 13 squared, just gets rid of the root. That's just going to be 13. So that's going to be uh, 29. And on the calculator, root 29 is, so y equals 5.385, blah, blah, blah. So it's two decimal places. That's uh, 5.39. Uh, now, there's an interesting thing uh, with this is to work out what y is, you could also. Uh, just do the square root of this squared plus this squared plus this squared. And if you try it out, you'll get the same answer.